He'll watch a movie, then he'll tell you all about it. It's the Armstrong Entertainment Show. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Armstrong Entertainment. This is Chad here with a special edition. Some of my friends, director Michael Thomas and actor-producer Michael Franklin, have released an incredible documentary called Jamel and Tim. This film follows the life and death of two men, Jamal Moore and Timothy Dean, who were both found dead in an apartment in West Hollywood two years apart. The thing is, this apartment was owned by West Hollywood political activist donator Ed Buck. The fact that both of these men were black and gay, dying of a drug overdose in an apartment, definitely contributed to Ed Buck not being arrested immediately. Also, his political ties. I, I, I can only imagine if two little blonde girls were found dead in an apartment, the national uprise and the news that would have been happening with this. Unfortunately, this was just brushed under the rug and kind of forgotten. It really makes you wonder what else is going on in your community. I live 20 minutes away from West Hollywood and I had no idea any of this was happening and it is mind boggling. The film tells the story of these men through their friends and family and their fight for justice, how they never gave up. They were holding people accountable, people like ex-DA Jackie Lacey who just did not do enough. I hope I have friends like this in my life. The film dives into addiction, depression, sex work, subcultures of the LGBTQ, community and it's just really good to educate yourself and learn more. It's part true crime and it really focuses on the friends and the family who are left behind and following them on their journey through grief and loss. It will be playing at the Landmark Theaters in LA September 30th. It will also be streaming online October the 1st to October the 7th online and multiple film festivals so just look for it there. It's called Jamel and Tim and it will be playing near you very soon. Until next time. He'll watch a movie, then he'll tell you all about it. It's the Armstrong Entertainment Show.